Merry Christmas everyone. I can't believe it is Christmas Day. Well, it's Christmas Day for you anyway today. I hope you've been having a lovely Christmas Day. I do post this video at 10 a.m. So whether some of you are clicking right on this video, have a lovely Christmas morning. And if you guys are watching this a bit later in the evening, I hope you've had a incredible, incredible Christmas Day. And for those of you watching this from Boxing Day onwards, I hope you're having a lovely, relaxing time after Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. So today I just wanted to jump on really quick and intro this vlog, but I I'm doing a Christmas vlog so this is basically the last few days just before today Christmas Day it's getting the Christmas dinner it's doing the Christmas crackers it's some last-minute present shopping and I just thought you guys would like to see this maybe some of you have got some new devices this year am I on the new device like that might be a thing but I am so genuinely excited to be bringing you a video on Christmas Day. I'm not sure I've ever done that before. We've still got triple uploads going through till the end of the year. But anyway, let's skip back to yesterday where I start the vlog and we go to Marks and Spencers and go and get the Christmas dinner elements. So I'm at my mum's now. I finished the gym, all showered in my Christmas jumper. I just had to pop in Asda to um, grab some scratch cards to do the crackers, which we're going to do later on in this vlog. And it's already so busy it's the wednesday before christmas and it is so busy with people getting their food shopping so today on the agenda i am going to poundland to film a video which you would have seen before this the one that went live on friday um but while i am there i am actually also going to mns to get my christmas food shop so i have actually placed an order on mns to pick up tomorrow that's of um like the more fresher bits well, not fresher, because I have to go get vegetables. But for some reason on the M&S Christmas order, it didn't let me select, like, individual vegetables. It was like, you had to buy a box that was, like, £28. And I didn't even need the stuff in it, because, like, mum and dad are doing the cauliflower cheese and the sprouts. So I didn't need any of that. So it's such a huge waste of money. So I'm hoping today I can just grab, like, carrots, parsnips, Maris Piper potatoes, um and some red cabbage as well like things like that so while i was in asda it was really well stocked so i'm gonna hope that mns is the same i might also grab a few christmas treats but as i said i've got to pick up my mns order tomorrow anyway from a different mns after i've been to the gym but today on the agenda apart from filming that video and doing that food shop i am also going to the when i'm in poundland I'm going to be purchasing a lot of stuff for like the dogs and cats home. Um, <laughs> we got mum over there sneaking in. I'm purchasing a lot of stuff for the animal rescue centre. There's one right by um, like local in Bristol. If you're from Bristol, you'll know it, the animal rescue centre. Um, and I called them this morning to see what they are after. They actually have just had a leak, so I can't, they've asked not to buy food which is a bit weird. They said, can you donate it after Christmas? So we'll probably still buy it and donate it after Christmas. But they still want like bedding, toys, uh, treats, things like that. So I'm gonna try and, and blankets and towels. So I'm gonna try and get some really good deals today as well. If there's anything in the sale in like the range that's also there, I wanna try and grab some blankets and all that sort of stuff to donate. I then also in the boot of my car have a massive donation of stuff to go to Age UK. That is a charity shop that I support. So I'm trying to do it where I've got like animals then age UK so like older people and then I'm going to be doing some food donation as well in the supermarkets you can usually buy food and there's a donation point so I want to do that at some point as well I don't know if I can get around to that today but I kind of want to cover all those bases and I would like to do toys for kids but I don't I haven't actually seen any sort of donation points or anything and I'm really unsure of where to donate to so if when I'm out I happen to see something in the range or anything like that, then I'd love to do that as well. Um, obviously if not, it, like Christmas, I watched Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square the other day and that is what prompted me to do this. Like I realized in general day-to-day -day life, but especially at Christmas, it made me realize I don't give back enough. I just don't. I do have charities I support monthly that obviously like we all have our direct debits, but I don't feel I do enough. Uh, so I want this to be a pivotal point and especially at Christmas when I wouldn't think twice about spending 50 quid on a gift like that gift to somebody yes that'll be lovely and I'm sure like one of my family or friends would love it but that 50 pound could go so far for a charity um, and things they need as well so 
yes that is what i'm doing today and i wanted to just say that on the vlog because i know people get to, you get told off if you say it and you get told off if you don't but the reason i wanted to put it in the vlog is because i seen something that prompted me to do it so i'm hoping you seeing this will prompt you to do something that gives back even if you have very little change or a pound to spare it's just about if you're doing your food shop at Asda or something, they're usually nine times out of ten. I know Tesco's have a donation point for like animals. There's a there's a bin you can put food in and things, and there's usually a little card on there that says what they're kind of most, you know, in need of. Um, and if you're doing your food shop, you know, if you can chuck in anything, that is helping massively. So yeah, that is what this time of year is all about as well. So I'm so excited to do those things today and get that content done for you. And mum is upstairs at the moment, she's working. I also just wanted to show you their tree. Do you guys remember this? Were you with me in the vlogs when I used to live at home? Because you would have seen this tree before. But my mum has very much gone overboard like me. You would have seen my tree in the past vlogs. But this is all presents for, well, obviously some of mine, some of my dad, some of my dad and gramps, some of the, for the kids. Like, this is why there's just a insane amount. These are actually for my friends because they're coming to pick them up on Christmas Eve. Also, this looks really nice. I helped her put it all up, but it's like the string lights all across the ceiling. So I'm gonna go finish my coffee now, have a bit of lunch with mum, fancying avocado on toast, and then we're gonna go to Poundland to do filming in another video that you would have already seen and go and do all these bits and bobs and grab the Christmas dinner elements. Right, we're at M&S, getting the Christmas food shopping. We want the Maris Pipers, all the veg is here. Mum's got the Brussels sprouts. I need to get some Maris Piper. I need some onions as well. I think I'll try and get some bigger ones. They've got the Brussels sprouts on the vine. I love Brussels sprouts. And let me get some Maris Pipers. Yay! There be enough in there or do I need the small bag? These are already reduced. <laughs> so Christmas dinner stuff bought and now I'm heading to Poundland. It's just started to rain. Um, heading to Poundland to do the separate video that you guys would have already seen. So Poundland shop done. I think we did really well. Look at this whole bag full. We've got blankets, towels, loads of chew toys, food, snacks, brand new blankets that mum bought. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go drop this at the dog's home now. Chub rolls. Oh my goodness. Brilliant. For the stuff. Yay! That is, that's gonna sort a lot of doggies out. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I've left mum now. I've actually popped into Tesco's on my way home because I need to get her some Christmas Eve pajamas. It's just a tradition she used to do for me and so I do for her now. And I come in here because they do the Tesco X Hint range. And I've just found this set, which is really nice. And it's actually reduced to 15 pounds from 22.50. It's this lovely like sage green color satin. It comes with an eye mask, which she won't use, but um, it's long trousers. I think this is gonna be really nice. They've actually got a few things on sale here as well in the hint range, let me show you. So this is the one I have just picked up here. But they've also got this set, which is also from the Hint range, reduced to 15 also, which comes with a little bag that you can actually put it in. And it's more of like a, like a blouse top instead of a spaghetti strap cami. And this is actually shorts. Oh, I don't know if she'd like the shorts better. I don't think she'd like the long sleeve though. She, she prefers like little tiny tops and shorts, which then I seen this set which I thought would be perfect. This would have been my first choice. It's actually reduced to 10 pound from 15, but they've only got it in 16 to 18s. Um, so I'm gonna have to leave this one, unfortunately. I would have got her that as well and just put it as a Christmas gift, but it's nice to see Mrs. Hinch stuff reduced. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. I spotted that they also had this jumpsuit, which I thought was really nice from the Hint range. It's just got the little branding there, but I love the headband this comes with and I feel like this should be, oh yeah, it's reduced from 27.50 to 20 pounds. But they also have this set, which is Mr. Tinch too, reduced from 28 down to 18. And that's just a normal lounge set with joggers and top. I do genuinely love the stuff they do in Tesco's. Look at this amazing fleece quarter zip. This is 16 pounds. And then how Christmassy is this nightwear? I don't think it gets much Christmassier than this. Um, and this is 20 pounds. Oh, reduced to 10. Oh, that's so Christmassy. Does it come with shorts? I mean, it doesn't even, I don't think it comes with shorts. It's just a top, but nevertheless, reduced from 20 to 10, so half price. That is so Christmassy. 
I've seen people talk about these as well, how they're a dupe for the White Company ones. So these look really nice. They are different though, because they actually have a platform. The White Company ones don't have a sole. They just have a little bit of rubber at the bottom. But they've got it in this lovely mink color. They've got gray, although these are just a different design. Ah, there's the cross design. A bit more of like a blue gray. And then they've got like this purpley sort of color as well. And then these are the ones that I actually really like, but it looks like they've only got really small sizes of them but they look so nice. What a nice Christmas gift that would be as well. mum's christmas eve present is all wrapped i loved that hinge set as you've seen there were so many good deals in store but i still feel like that one was the most appropriate for mum and also with long bottoms and like cami tops they are good for winter and summer yeah beautiful little present another one to pop under the tree for now but i have actually got to give this to mum on christmas eve because obviously it's the christmas eve pajamas but add that one to the little pile <laughs> i love the build up to christmas i know everybody says it but genuinely the build up to christmas is so not much better than christmas because i love christmas day but it is so so nice i feel like i've got a lot of stuff done today i got the christmas dinner in i've got to pick up my marks's order tomorrow donated to the doggies dropped off my donation to age uk but it's so good to know that the, all the christmas dinner elements have been bought it's all in the house it's all ready to go i've got a list of things that i'm prepping on christmas eve pretty much everything i'm prepping christmas eve the turkey is at my nan and granddad's house because they are keeping it for me because they've got a chest freezer that needs to come out to defrost tomorrow because it is a six kg turkey yeah, I've never cooked a turkey in my life and I just went for the largest one I could find, so wish me luck. But it's just awesome to know that you guys are watching this video on Christmas Day. Well, a lot of you might not be watching it on Christmas Day, you might be watching it Boxing Day or the wonderful mystical time between Christmas and New Year where you kind of don't know what day it is. And also in the UK, we got two bank holidays, Monday and Tuesday, because of how Christmas Day falls and Boxing Day. It falls on a Saturday and a Sunday. Is that right? Sunday and Monday? I can't remember anyway. I'm also taking some holiday. I'm sitting here with my little pumpkin man who's in his little red jump, I was about to say jumpsuit, I meant jumper. He's been a good boy. I've still got lots of prep to do. We need to do the crackers and we need to do the table, but I think for this evening, I'm gonna take a break and we can do that in the morning. And good morning guys. So it is the next day now. I say good morning actually, it's afternoon because I've had a bit of a slow morning. I'm really not feeling great, unfortunately. I had a really bad night last night, sleeping wise. I've got all bunged up, like literally everyone, literally everyone I know has got a little something this year. And I had a blocked nose last night. I literally could not sleep very much. So I've had a slow morning editing the Poundland video from yesterday, editing this vlog but i'm feeling a bit better now i've had a shower and i'm ready to crack on so what i need to get done is the christmas crackers 
So if you haven't watched my other vlogs and you don't know, I've decided this year to make my own crackers. Now I went on Etsy and I went to go buy like the empty crackers that you can get names personalised on and honestly they were coming out at about eight or nine pound per cracker which is crazy. That doesn't include a hat, that doesn't include a joke, that doesn't include a gift, that is literally just a cracker with a sticker on it and some nice bow on the outside. So anyway, I picked up these crackers from Home Bargains. I've actually used, as you can see from my dinner party, some of them in there. So I managed to find another box the other day, a brand new box. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They are so, so stunning. Um, so what I've decided I'm gonna do is, I sort of had a brainwave. I don't know why I didn't think about this initially, but I pulled a cracker out and it turns out they are super easy to open up. And they obviously also come with the bang thing like and then I'm ready to add my own elements. I also went to Hobbycraft and grabbed some really nice ribbon. This was like really overpriced for what it is but it's exactly what I had in mind. So I don't know whether to go for a mixture of the grey and the whites or just go for the whites because I have enough for them now. I think I might just go for the whites because they're a lot prettier. And then I did go on Etsy and I got these printed out. So they are just some name stickers. So there you go. There's my name. I'm making myself a cracker even though I know what's in them. But I've got like my nan, my dad, my gramp and my mum and I'm gonna stick these on the crackers so they're like little name place settings. I mean these were eight pounds I think for all of these so they're a little bit overpriced but nevertheless it's a lot cheaper than what I was gonna be buying on Etsy. I don't have my Cricut anymore but I really regret not keeping it because um, I would have made these on my own and saved that eight pounds. I then went to Asda and bought some scratch cards because I'm gonna put a scratch card in each of them and then I just went to the pound shop for these guys and then I also had these upstairs so I'm gonna get put this in my nan's cracker, my mum's cracker, this is a Too Faced eye, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, this is a girl and mascara. I'm just gonna put this in my cracker because I actually want a pop socket. The Little Trees car air freshener for my grandpa that to take off the packaging because it won't fit otherwise and then this little multi-tool just for my dad. It's just something a little bit more thoughtful, you know, and then also a scratch card. And of course we get the joke and the hat in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up these crackers, put you guys on a time lapse, and I hope you enjoy making them with me. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow is crackers are all done. I ran out of ribbon on the last cracker so I just took the ribbon off of my cracker because I know you've seen me make that one and I've replaced mine with just some silver twine. It's not ideal but I'm not running out to go get some ribbon. It's not the end of the world but I am so glad with how these turned out. Look at them. How pretty do these look? So I've just had to make mine with some twine. It doesn't look too bad. To be honest, you could just do this without the ribbon, but I love the ribbon. Definitely next time I will get much wider ribbon and I need to get obviously double the amount of it as well. It's a shame I don't have any like tailoring scissors. So all the cuts are really horrible and it's bugging me, but I can't keep cutting because obviously I'm going to lose ribbon as well. But I love how these names come out. They look so, so gorgeous and obviously inside is something personalized for everyone so it's really thoughtful and you've all got a scratch card as well so you never know we could be millionaires. I ended up using the grey crackers instead of those really pretty silver ones, uh, white ones because the white ones have got a really nice big snowflake but it's stuck on the front so I needed to make sure the names were in the middle and I think that the silver contrasts better with the shiny silver names so yeah I am chuffed with those. I also need to write the name cards to go on my little Matalan bauble name placements even though 
obviously like the name the the crackers kind of act as a name placement anyway um but of course i'm very extra i'm also thinking i might lay the table today it is thursday before christmas but it's just one of those things that i can enjoy doing now whereas if i leave it too late i'm working tomorrow as well so my last day of work so i kind of i probably might have quite a lot to do i don't know it might be a quiet day i don't know but my point is i have to budget that i'm going to be busy then um so i might just do it now we don't really sit at the table as it is so if i lay it all out it's all done it's all ready for christmas day and that is what christmas is all about i'm learning this year preparation and planning which thankfully is my strong suit the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yeah. So this is what I have done so far. I obviously I'm going to have to leave it because tomorrow me and Andy have got to have lunch. I'm not going to put out the plates and the cutlery because we're going to be using that for the next couple of days. So. This is just the core of what I want it to look like. I'm really happy with this. I picked up these Matalan um, bauble lights in my last vlog that you would have seen, the festive vlog where we go out shopping and I actually got them in the sale for £5.50. I think they're really nice. And then I seen my friend who's got a home account. She had like a table runner but she crunched it up in the middle and then she put like hurricane vases with these pillar candles. I need to get some just like multi-height hurricane jars so i'm hoping i can maybe have a look for that on christmas eve or something because we're going out to the shops anyway but for now i've got it set up like this just with this hurricane candle in the middle i've just lit it to show you guys but obviously the actual place settings will be set properly and have this on i've made the little baubles and i will be putting the napkins in the napkin rings as well but i need to just give them an iron and then down at the end i have my little salt and pepper shakers from cherries i've filled these up with salt and pepper now i've just put this little box brush thing at the end just to cover the battery pack it looks quite good and obviously there's five of us this year so um, it sort of is nice to have extra room and then I have put this candle right at the end because this is a remembrance candle so I think it's quite nice to have it on the table obviously we'll light it on the day and it's for absent friends so yeah I'm really happy with how this looks like I said I can't fully finish it I'm also not too um, upset with how this looks I mean it definitely looks better with all of that being equal. I'm going to be sat at the end because I'm going to be running back and forth into the kitchen making the Christmas dinner. So, oh, hey, pumpkin. So, yeah, another job ticked off the list. Just need to put literally the napkins down and the plates and the cutlery. So I've just stopped for a cup of tea and I'm going to have a bit of my favourite snack, the dark chocolate Terry's orange. Would it be a Christmas vlog without a tap it and unwrap it? I'm so funny because I don't usually like... Like, I'm not fussed on flavoured chocolates, like, especially fruit flavoured, but this new Dark Cherries Chocolate Orange is actually to die for. It is gorgeous. Starting Christmas Eve right with an eggnog latte. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Eggnog latte, let's start the Christmas Eve. Head into Primark to see if we can get some last minute Christmas Eve sale bits. And I found the coat that I wanted. They actually have it in my size now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I just wanna try this on. That's exactly what I had in mind. So Christmas has already left Primark in the main bit. How nice are these tables though? I think I showed you guys these in a video before. They're really, really nice. I genuinely think I might get them for the house at some point. But they have got some Christmas sale over here. It is heavily, heavily picked over though. But yeah, they have got some bits left, but honestly there's not a ton. It's obviously, I think they started their sale like nearly a week ago, so 
it's going to be a little bit picked over. Oh, there's a bit more over here, I think. Here we go. Let's see how much this garland is. I love that mistletoe garland. It doesn't even look like anything's reduced. This is six pounds still. Might be if you take it to the till. Sometimes that happens as well. So we've popped in TK Maxx and I have found the hat of my dreams. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the buckle as well. I have to grab this. Adore. And we're heading to Harvey Nichols. Got to check out some bags, shoes, and we're going to the champagne bar. Mum, say hi. Look at her looking like a disco ball today. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Eve. They always do it so pretty in here. I love that sign that says sale. There we go. Hey, we've got the tote bag and the tote bag. I did think about getting the black and then this is the slightly bigger version as well. Oh, I love this like khaki color. That's quite nice. Oh my goodness, they've got shoes on sale. I adore, adore this shop. I'm in my happy place. These are on the way in the post, present from me to me. And these are on my wish list next year. I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh, I'm in my, I'm in my element. Mum now wants them as well. They look tiny, Mum. They look like a four or something. Oh, the triple Evans. Mum's just also found, I picked them up. These are another one on my hit list. The Gucci classics. They are also, also definitely <coughs> on the wish list. I will. Okay, so I had to try on the size sixes. Ah! I have loved these for about four years when I used to work in the shop and come in all the time and see them. And now they are already in my possession. Well, they're not in my possession. I bought them, they're in the post. So I'm so excited. Look how amazing. So perfect. Some Valentino bags as well. This is new season. Match the rock studs. And then I've just seen this. This is definitely trying to be like the Fendi peekaboo. I love that so much. Some Givenchy's. You've got the classic Antigona. It says new season, but that's Antigona. And they've had that for a long time. Probably the most classic bag Gucci uh, Givenchy do. This is interesting. I feel like they're trying to copy the Marc Jacobs one. Or I don't know if Marc Jacobs tried to copy Givenchy. I don't really know who came first, to be honest. Then you've got some of the brand we do not talk about anymore <laughs> since the uh, ad campaign. Yay! She got the shoes! Got the trainers. She got the shoes! Some shopping done. And now we're sat right by the Christmas tree with a nice glass of champagne. And Christmas Eve 2022. Merry Christmas! So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. A very Merry Christmas 2022. Thank you so much for sharing this day with me. Obviously it's Christmas Eve now and it is Christmas Day for you. And I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for your support all over 2022. Cheers! Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out in